everybody. Today we're going to look at a game 40 years old. We are going vintage. This game came out in 1981 by Hasbro. It is a two to four player game. It is called Baboon Ball. Oh yeah. This is a little cage here and this is plastic, which is really, really nice. They did a well, uh, good job on it. And all you're really doing in this game is going to be a very short video because there's not much to it. Uh, it's a lot of fun to play with kids is you have a yellow marble that you put right in the middle where this indentation is here. And you pretty much go at it. Uh, so you say go, you have these little levers that you pull, push in and out, and then you twist them. So the, so the baboon's going left to right trying to swat at the ball, and you're trying to score the marbles in these corners. You can see these are the goals areas. And when you score a point, you have these little bananas that you hang on the side, and those are the score markers. So... Uh, that's pretty much it. That's all the game really is. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how this plays. Let's head on over to the gamers table right now, where I'm going to show you how to play Baboon Ball. Here we are with Baboon Ball. Dun, 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 dun. Here are the components of the game. First you have the ring, and then you have the gates that go all on the side. It's just plastic. You just kind of snap them into the little sides. You can see these little areas here. They just snap right in. Then you have the baboons themselves. And what you do is you have these little rods here. And what you do is you're going to twist them back and forth. That's a, It kind of reminds you of, at least it reminded me of like a Hungry Hungry Hippos. When you, instead of, you know, you push the button or you push the little lever down. These, you actually have these where you can turn back and forth, kind of like a foosball table. And they all kind of go like this, and so on. You also have two marbles that come with the game. They're big. They're not regular marbles. These are actually special marbles for this game. You also have the goal caps. So in case you have, like, two players, what you can do is see these, is, these are the holes that you're trying to shoot the ball in. That's how you score. So say you have a, you know, what you can do is you can say, okay, you can only score in these two. Which, these are little caps that you can actually cap those. So the ball doesn't go in there. So then there's only two goals that you can try to go into. So you can do whatever whatever way you want to do it. And you also have these little bananas. And these are scoring markers. They can just hang like right over this. Like so. Actually it goes like this. There we go. And that's how that goes. So it actually hangs on the inside of the game. And there's a little ledge right here. I don't know if you can see it. There's like a little ledge. And that's where you would, you know, for each player if they want to, you know. Let's see here. I'll show you how this looks when we do all four of them on here. A little edge there, and you got this right here. It's interesting how they have them hanging inside, it's kind of weird, but anyway. And what you do at the very beginning of the game is you actually put the ball right in the middle there, and everyone just goes at it Dang, whack the ball around, everyone's doing their thing, whacking it. It's kind of hard because I only have my oh, and he scores. So he would get one of the banana markers. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's kind of hard to do this on your own. you got four different things I'm reaching trying to get over there. But those are, uh, that's how you pretty much play the game. It's just a really fun game for kids. This is probably the shortest video I've ever done. Uh, <laughs> but there's not much to it. Uh, you pretty much just put the ball in the middle. You all go at it. Just like, like I said, Hungry Hungry Hippos. You know, you have all the marbles in there. And you just go at it, you know. It's the same with this. You just kind of smack the ball around. Boom, boom, boom. You try to score. And, oh, that would have scored if I didn't have a cap in there. This guy would come back and just smack over here, you know, and so on. That's why I don't like these banana markers being on the inside. I don't know why they had it like that. Because they fall over the place. They should have done something like this. Unless it does do that way. No, because the thing, the little hook is actually on that side. So that you have to do it like this. That's kind of weird because that falls off so easy. I don't know. Whatever. Um, but anyway, that is the game. And, uh, you know, hopefully you if you have the game or if you've heard of it or maybe you've never heard of the game before. Uh, like I said, this was made back in 1981, so it's it's a good 30-plus uh, years old. So, actually 40 years old, actually. If you think about it, this year, this is 2021. So, it's, uh, my goodness, it's been 40 years since 1981. Holy cow. Yikes. But anyhow, that's the game. I really hope you enjoyed it. And uh, until next time, happy gaming.